Hello and welcome to another episode of BK Plays Pokemon Blue. Uh, we are in Lieutenant Surge's gym. Now the trick here, uh, oh well, first actually, uh, everyone's full health. So uh, let's battle everyone beforehand. Um, now the trick to this gym is the there are two switches. Uh, in the bins, hidden in the bins, and if you don't get them both, then the doors won't open. And I'm using Diglett the whole way through, and it might be a long uh, battle. Well, not just this, but a long gym battle. I don't know if it will be. Maybe it won't. Um, but back to the gym. The two switches. If you hit one then you have to look for the other. The other is normally either right next to, below or above where you hit the first uh, thing, the first switch and the second the second one is right next to it. What? Ah, I just confused myself. Alright, once you hit the first um, I've got time so we, I can babble on about this the switches are hidden in, the, in these trash cans. Once you hit the first uh, switch, the second one is either next to, right above, or right below the where you just hit the first switch. And if you miss it, if you get the wrong one, then it resets and it is very, very long and tiresome. And this guy has a microphone? Is that a microphone? Possibly. Anyway, the whole everyone in this gym, there's four people, the first three people all have uh, Pikachus and Voltorbs and maybe a Magnemite. Uh, they're all uh, below level 23, I think. Um, so they're not they're not exactly difficult, um, especially because I'm using Diglett and any electric attack will just not work, which is good if uh, you don't really want to fuck fuck around or if you want to do this quickly um, and the best attack to use as I'm using is dig uh, unfortunately that does as all other attacks have a limited PP uh, powerpoint I think what was PP? powerpoint? correct me in the comments if I am wrong on anything anyway oh there's Magnemite <coughs> uh, we will get to what I will, set, I will mention what uh, Pokemon Lieutenant Surge has when we get to him. Uh, so it might take a while. Um, Diglett just grew to level 22, which is alright. I will, before next episode, which is Tuesday, I will attempt to get him to um, level 30 something like the other three Pokemon I have. And I will also try to catch Pidgey and get that to evolve. Possibly on screen, I don't know. Um, it might not be on screen. Okay, there's only one more person to beat, ex excluding the gym leader, which is the gentleman at the top right. Uh, <coughs> I may need to go heal. Oh, there's the gentleman. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. What CO? What's, what? Anyone in the army, or anyone that knows anything about the army, what does CO stand for? Oh, I was wrong. Pe this guy has a level 23 Pikachu. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, I have no idea what I just said. Anyway. Uh, Dig, he is gone straight down, which is, of course, awesome. Now. Okay, now. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt this. No. No. Oh, here's the first switch. So the switch, the second switch is either to the left or right underneath it. It's always no. Okay, the switch is reset. It was right underneath it then. This may take some time. 
So, did you uh, like that video I posted yesterday? You know, from dust? It was like 14 minutes or something, sorry about that. But, it's a brand new um, a brand new game from Ubisoft. Oh hey, there's another Switch. This is very difficult. No. And it's reset again. Anyway, back to From Dust. It's the brand new sandbox god game from uh, Ubisoft. And, you know, Ubisoft, the guys that made Far Cry and Assassin's Creed. Speaking of Far Cry, Steam uh, had has, or had by the time this video is uploaded, Steam had a midweek madness sale. 75% uh, off both Far Cry and Far Cry 1, I mean 2, uh, Fortunes Edition. And here's the second first switch, and I don't know where the third second switch is. Oh, found it. That was very lucky. Anyway, so uh, they were like £3 in total, and I've got them now, so you may expect what that video. And then you go heal. Uh, and back. Okay. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat. That's for sure. I tell you kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis. I'll do this, they'll do the same to you. Strange how uh, there was nothing about war in the original Pokemon anime series. Just just this. This is the only time you hear about war in Pokemon. Um, oh, now that we're at Lieutenant Surge, let's talk about his Pokemon. As you see, he has a level 21 Voltorb. Uh, he uses X speed a lot. He has a level 18 Pikachu and a level 24 Raichu. This is the first time we see Raichu, by the way, if you haven't actually been keeping up. Uh, and one of the first times, not exactly the first time, but one of the first times we see Pikachu as well. Uh, we've seen him a lot in this battle, I mean, this gym. And here's Pikachu, level 18. One of my favourite Pokemon, but, and I feel so, I feel bad about doing this, but if I don't do this, I don't get the gym badge. So bye bye Pikachu. Wow, I sound like a twat in these videos. Anyway, now it's Raichu. Raichu is the evolved form of Pikachu. You get him by using a Thunderstone on uh, Pikachu, and as you saw there, the AI is pretty shitty because it just used fucking Thunder Shock, Thunder. Bolt something against Diglett. Um, I know the attacks are are based, not based. Um, the attacks are based on a randomly generated attack um, sequence. But whatever. Uh, and here we go. The Thunder Badge. We get uh, it makes our Pokemon speed go up, and we get Thunder Bolt. Yes, Thunderbolt. And it also allows us to use Fly um, outside of battle, which means we have to go get Fly. Let's also teach Thunderbolt to our Pikachu. <coughs> May eventually, once I get a Thunderstone, um, evolve Pikachu. I may not. I'm just going to get rid of Thunder Wave. Yeah. Alright, Thunder Wave is gone, and now we have Thunderbolt. Much better attack. Now then, <coughs> out of the gym we go, and, uh, where is it, there he is, we don't need to heal up our, do we need to heal up our Pokemon, no, yes, no, let's get the bike on, <coughs> sorry about that, sorry about my voice, whatever, get the bike on, and now we go, and, uh, notice, Route 12 may be blocked up by a sleeping Pokemon. Yes, Snorlax. Detour through Rock Tunnel to Lavender Town. Minion Police. <coughs> this is Diglett's Cave where I have caught my Diglett. And now we're going to speed this up and battle every single person. Mm, yeah, let's start from here.
in this world of Pokemon and Our differences shall be settled on the Resentful feeling, and so we have to fight, fight, fight. our Pokemon. Yeah, fight, 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 fight. Let's get it on, Pokemon. and we'll see who is the better trainer, and we'll see who has the bigger Pokemon. While I'm out fighting for justice He may be the coolest kid around But he'll never know what love or trust is He's never worked for anything I hate that stupid lazy spoiled SOB Secretly I want to be just like him But I can't so now we Fight, fight, fight Our Pokemon And we're back, so thanks for that. Uh, if you go up here in this bush, here you will find a uh, escape rope. If you go into the building, uh, talk to the guy, he tells you about the name changer, name rater in Lavender Town. And I don't have the item finder yet. I think it's here you get him from upstairs. Uh, this when you catch lots of Pokemon, isn't it hard to think of, of, of names in Lavender Town? There's a man who breaks Pokemon nicknames. He'll help you rename them too. Okay, that's the name rater, name changer, whatever. Up here, there's a random guy and Professor Oak's aide. If you have 30 different type of Pokemon, talk to him. He gives you an item finder, which is awesome. Uh, to help. So thanks for watching. Next episode, we will go to Lavender Town. Please like and subscribe for updates. Goodbye.